We have a triple Clary test request. If you got a Clary test request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com and send me. I'll give you a discount if you get, you know, two or more because it saves me time for setup and all that. So we got John Kasich, Larry Lawton, and Paul LePage. So John Kasich, wasn't he governor of uh, Ohio? Ohio? John Kasich, <clears throat> uh, born 1952, American politician, author, television, news host, served as 69th governor of Ohio. Yeah, I knew. Okay. Republican and unsuccessfully sought the party's presidential nomination in, 2000, in 2016. Grew up in McKees Rocks, Pennsylvania, moving to Ohio to attend college. After a single term in the Ohio Senate, he served nine terms. Of the okay, get the fuck out of here. Fuck you, John. Nine terms. When'd you enter, John? 18 and a half? Because I am going to be a leader like Ocasio Cortez. I have ideas. Never worked a job, but I have ideas. From <laughs> representing the 12th con congressional district from 83 to 2001, 18 years. Uh, this thing six years has had that about a about a about a decided not to run for 2000 elections, no instead running for president. After leaving Congress, Kasich hosted Heartland with John Kasich on Fox News from 2001 to 2000, filling for the host of the O'Reilly Factor. He also worked as an investment banker, serving as managing director of the Lehman Brothers office. Is that the one that filed for bankruptcy? In Columbus, Ohio. Uh, 2010 Ohio gubernatorial election. Defeated Democrat. Oh, so he went back. Okay. <clears throat> he did a way too long a stint in Congress, but then he left and then he worked some real jobs. And then he went go back to he went back to uh politics. I'm I'm still gonna go against him because he, how old was he? 52? So he was 31. But then I got to back out a six year when he was a uh, Ohio Senate. Hang on. From seventy nine. All right, so seventy nine fifty two. You're twenty seven. Shut up. Get out of there, John. You need to have gray hair before you run for office. That's how Cappy would do it. <clears throat> uh, boo -boo -doo -boo -doo. Join CNN. Prominent critics of Trump within the Republican Party. He endorsed Democrat presidential nominee Joe Biden in the speech. <laughs> all right. I'm just going to assume he majored in political science. And All right. Born in Pittsburgh. Son of Annie and John. John Kasich Sr. Ooh. Worked as a mail carrier. All right. Well, he didn't come from wealth. As a freshman, wrote a president to Nixon. Bachelor's of Arts in Political Science. Fuck you, John. Worth a degree. I'm going to call you a career politician. I will say you do have real world working experience, but now this goes back to you just being a policy. So, didn't come from wealth. He does have real world working experience, but I'm going to put a big footnote. The worthless degree, and you're working at that's how we'll, we'll, we'll suss it out. <clears throat> I'm going to treat you as a career politician um, because you had absolutely no desire to work a real job in your life. So he gets a score of two. Uh, would I have a beer with him? No. Should he run for office? No. This is exactly why we have the Clary test. What, and if you didn't know what the Clary test is, it is the biggest advancement in political science uh, in the past hundred years because there's been no real genuine advancement in that science because political science isn't a science. Just so you know, it's like psychology. It's not real. <clears throat> All right, who else we got? Um, Larry Lawton. Who's Larry Lawton? Why am I thinking of Gary Shandling? Larry Lawton. Uh, Larry Lawton. Born 1961, is an American author, motivational speaker, ex-convent, and YouTuber. Even I know my job ain't real guy. I've got to worry about it. Uh, he's known as America's biggest jewel thief. 
who after being incarcerated, reformed his way, now helps and inspires young people to stay out of prison and change their life path. He is also an advocate of prison reform. Early life and organized crime. Oh, wow. Born in North Hempstead, New York in 61, son of David Lawton, a sheet metal worker, and Irene Griffrion, a registered nurse. For five, he was raised in the Bronx, so he didn't come from wealth. At the age of 12, Lawton was drawn to organized crime. He sold football tickets in his middle-class neighborhood of Locust Point, was introduced to gambling. He and his friends also stole and sold cars that were scrapped for parts during the 70s. He attended intermediate PS 192, followed by Lehman High School. See no future in the Bronx. Lawton joined the Coast Guard at 17. All right, this is all good. Uh, after seven years in the Coast Guard, he was medically retired due to a back injury. He moved to Brooklyn. Back into organized crime as a bookmaker, a collector while working in the bars. This is all real work. Uh, Lawton's acumen and aggressiveness eventually caught the attention of higher-ups in organized crime. This led to his occupation as a jewelry thief and robbing stores all along the east coast of the United States. He also used part of his earnings to purchase an Italian pizza restaurant in North... Why do you get all that money? You got a liquid asset, and then you go and invest it in, in a money-losing operation which later burned down in an insurance fraud scam, of course. Went to prison alone at Hobbs at a Hobbs Act racketeering case. He was arrested in 1996 in connection with organized crime and jewelry store robberies and sentenced to 12 years of federal prison. 97, uh, served his full sense, it looks like. Uh, 2003, Lawton spoke out against the abuse suffered by prisoners at a federal prison system, claiming a large portion of inmates suffered extraordinary abuse at the hands of prison guards, in some cases leading to inmate deaths, including ignoring an inmate with serious cancer until he died of hemorrhaging in his cell, and ignoring a man with pain in his chest and arm who died. Uh, Lawton sent Larry Zippa, blah, blah, boo, 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 released. Uh, served his time, released, and started three years supervised release. He earned a paralegal degree and became a gang media. Man, this guy's got hustle. Following his release, he became an advocate for many ex-offenders' issues, including prison conditions as well as post-release debt loads and their influence on unemployed convicts. Um, Lawton has worked with teens and young adults in an effort to educate them about the realities of crime in prison. Main vehicle through it is the reality check programs, which he uses lectures, DVDs, and other educational materials to teach at youth risk before they end up in prison. Lawton's reality check for four parts, early life, blah, blah, blah. Media personality also appeared on TV. YouTube channel, create a YouTube channel in 2019, shares a story about his past. He has 875,000 subscribers, of course. <clears throat> um, and he wrote a book. I, you know what? The gangsters get perfect scores oftentimes, the old school gangsters. So he didn't major stupid stuff. He doesn't have a worthless, it doesn't have, didn't major stupid stuff, didn't come from wealth, had real world working experience, legal or not. And uh, he's still hustling now. Even though YouTube you know, is it a real job, yeah. Uh, so I, he gets a perfect score. Would I like to have a beer with him? Yes. W should he run for office? Yeah. Yeah. I, now he can. Now he can. Ah, he's no more criminal than the other guys, right? At least he stopped it. But uh, yes, yeah, so I, I, I think he'd, uh, he'd make an okay politician. Who's the last one? Paul LePage. Let's look up Paul LePage. Paul LePage, former governor of Maine, another governor. <coughs> Born 1948, businessman and politician, who was the seventh gov say fourth governor of Maine from 2011 to 2019, member of the Republican Party, served two terms as city councilor in Waterville, Maine, before being elected a mayor of Waterville in 2003 until 2011. And so what is it, 2003, 17 years? Uh... I don't know. How long was he in office? Let's go down here. So he was the mayor's mayor full town full, full time in Waterville. Because that's kind of career politician. Always blocked by term limits. Political 
oh, positions. Let's go to early childhood education. Born in Lewiston, Maine, the eldest son of 18 children. Holy cow. Spoke French in an impoverished home with an abusive father who was a mill worker. Father drank heavily and terrorized the children. Why did he keep having them? Boy was too intimidated to stop at age 11. His father beat him and broke his nose. He ran away from home, lived on the streets in Lewiston, where he at times stayed in horse stables at a strip joint. Uh, two years homeless, began to earn living, shining shoes, washing dishes. At a, oh, man, I'd love to talk to this guy. <clears throat> yes, I would uh, have a beer with him, and yes, he should run for order uh, for office. Worked at a rubber company, meat packing plant, short order cook, bartender. LePage was the only person among his parents and siblings to graduate from the eighth grade. Applied to Hudson College at Bain, expected rejected a poor verbal and SAT school. English was his second language. Um, written exam in French. He got a bachelor's of science in business administration and finance. Oh, and accounting. All right, later, masters. Uh, <clears throat> how old is he again? Oh, yeah, he's a boomer. He's ingratiated on the grandfather clause of any degree is a good degree, at least back then. Lumber company. That was my first wife. During his time, I had to lower taxes, increasing the range, date fund every time. Million, yeah. Public nomination, general election. I guess he just retired. I, you know what? The major in stupid stuff did not come for wealth. Has a lot of real world working experience. He's a true statesman. He stuck around a little bit longer. I mean, assuming the Waterville mayorship is part time. That was a statesman. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Love to have a beer with him. He is absolutely qualified to run for office. <clears throat> Should have run for president, but yeah, well, yeah. my guys never win. And there you go. All right. Any super chats? No, no super. All right. See you guys later. Toodles.